good morning all 9 15 we are on our way into the gym wednesday's our long day at the gym um we have start of a new week right now new vlog week meaning um we have what do we have today i'm gonna go run and do some abs and then i'm gonna get some work done i have to do a little bit of linking and then <clears throat> MJ, we're gonna eat lunch there, and we pack lunch, and then MJ has swimming, and then he has lacrosse there. So, we're gonna be there for a while, and then the kids in the neighborhood that were outside playing last night, I don't think I even had my camera on me, my neighbor, Julie, um, her two girls, and then another little boy, Mason, in the development, were all outside playing for a while. Um, I think I did tape the fact that Scotch is doing amazing with this whole, um, pet fence thing. I put him outside with us while we were outside for a little bit yesterday and I put him on his collar and put a leash onto his regular collar just in case he ran so I could catch him and he did not once try to go past the barrier like he would go up to it and like bounce around a little bit if one of the kids was running up to him but he did not once go over it so that's really good that's progress. Um, trying to think of what else and uh yeah so the kids are gonna play tonight and marty is in new jersey today but he should be home in time for dinner and uh dinner tonight what is dinner tonight it is gonna be one of two things it will either be a the steak that i use when i make fajitas on a salad or it will be this chicken dish i found it was called like buttermilk garlic something chicken and essentially they use chicken drumsticks but I use the chicken thighs that I always buy and they've been marinating since Monday in this mixture of it was garlic buttermilk salt and pepper and I think it was chives no not chives um I forget what it was so it has been marinating in that and then you bake it and we're going to do a baked potato with that after it yeah big not after it baked potato with it so what in the world is going on out here oh there's a rising crew on strike I guess interesting um so yeah so that'll be dinner tonight sorry about that I got a call and I think it cut off the camera and I don't even remember what I was talking about um Oh, I'll post the link below to the recipe for the chicken. Um, I was talking to Rachel last night. If you do not follow her YouTube channel, you have to go follow her YouTube channel. I will put her link below. She hasn't posted in a little while because she was moving like a bunch of times and her house was under construction, all kinds of stuff. But she's getting back into the swing of it and she is a makeup artist that does weddings and all kinds of stuff and she is amazing. Um, so I will post her link below. But go check her out. She's You guys will love her. Um, she's awesome and super sweet. So um, we were talking last night. Uh, she does Stella and Two with me. And uh, we were talking about the fact that I'm always posting different recipes and things like that um, when Marty's home and when we're all having dinner together. So sometimes I have repeats, but sometimes it's a really good. But uh, sometimes I just pull different stuff. And I always pull it from Pinterest. So... I'll try and put my Pinterest link below. It, I think my Pinterest link is below. Um, go follow that if you want ideas or you're not sure about the ideas I'm doing. She had a good point though. <laughs> Sometimes you see things on Pinterest and you're not sure if they're gonna be good or not. And it's nice to hear from somebody, like I can say whether something worked or not or what I would change about it. Um, so that's the plus side of watching these before that. Um, but you might get ideas that I haven't tried yet or something that sounds good to you that I haven't had a reason to try yet. So, yep. So heading into the gym, catch up with y'all later. So MJ and I are out getting the car washed. It was getting a little dirty and it's supposed to be beautiful all weekend. And I'm sure I'll wash it again before the weekend actually because the wedding is on Saturday. So I'm sure we'll get it washed Friday. I will get it washed Friday. So yeah, uh, my phone died while we were at the gym, so I didn't get a chance to. I've been listening to podcasts. Do you guys have any good recommendations for podcasts? Right now I've been listening to one of the girls from Vanderpump Rules. She's pretty funny. Um, I've been listening to hers. If you guys know any good ones, I'd love to hear it. And uh, so my phone died, so I didn't get to tape swimming or lacrosse. So 
I uh, got some work done on my computer, but I couldn't use my phone very well. So now we are getting the car washed. We went to the post office and we are heading home to go play outside. Okay. Are you eating your goldfish? Okay. And we're just going to have some goldfish. All right. So this is the chicken that's been marinating in the buttermilk, salt and pepper, but I use McCormick steak seasoning and I think it was parsley, but I used like dried parsley. Because I didn't have any. And then we're going to have baked potatoes tonight. All right, so here's the chicken in the pan. You cook it at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes, I think it is. I'll double check, but I'll put the recipe below. Well, good morning. Thursday morning, 8 o'clock. <clears throat> we are heading into the gym. He's going to go to daycare while I work out with my trainer. Then he is going to school. And after, while he's at school... I have an appointment for my facial, like regular facial, my back facial, and then a body scrub. Because my dress is like really low cut and V in the back, so I wanted to do a back facial too. And then the body scrub is just really, I've done, I told you guys, no self tanners in over a week. Like I think it was a week ago this Monday that I did self tanner. And, um, oh gosh, that's sun in the morning sometimes. And, um, so if there is like, like I went through today or last night and did like a really good scrub in the shower, but like she'll go through and she does this. It's this um, Chinese herbs that they sprinkle all over you and rub in with like olive oil. And then tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, I do my spray tan. So um, it's like this, it's called a like herbal something. God, I can't even remember. I'll try and put the words right here, but um it literally it's like a massage and a body polish all in once and your skin feels amazing afterwards it's just like wow um, I literally have nothing on my face but it cosmetics CC cream last summer all summer I used Peter Thomas Roth and I really loved it but I went back to my it CC cream this year and I just remember how much I love this one so it is literally all I have on today because I'm going straight pretty much from the gym to the facial and all that. So no need to have anything on my face, but I feel like I need something because I have a lot of redness in my skin. So that's all I have on and um, I have no idea what the rest of the afternoon entails other than I need to kind of get things situated around the house because the cleaning lady's coming tomorrow morning to make sure everything's good to go for the party tomorrow night. So, yeah, a little bit of running and whatever. I'm just trying to, like, my brain is fried with this wedding for some reason. Like, I keep going, okay, what else do I have to do? What else do I have to do? And there's not really much else I have left to do. It's just appointments, like, today, tomorrow, and the next day are all appointments. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know why I'm so fried with it. So, I'm going to go work out, and I'll catch up with you all later on. So sorry I didn't tape any of that. Um, the girl that does my facials and stuff was running a little bit late. Her client before me got there late. So we were running late. So I literally was like getting in there to get everything done, to get back out, to go pick him up from school. <clears throat> I literally walked into the school as the door was opening to let him out. So my face feels amazing. My back feels amazing. My skin feels amazing. I love it. Um, I love getting facials and back facials and body scrubs and all that. It's just so awesome. Because when you use self-tanner, you can't like get to your own back and scrub it really good. So back facials are awesome. Um, so now we, I just picked him up and we are going just to Chipotle to grab a bite to eat real quick um, with Marty. And I've got a horrible, horrible, horrible sinus headache. It sucks. It's all in through right here. So... I'm just going to eat something and go back to the house and try and chill out. Right? Yeah. Well, good morning. Friday morning. 9.40. I am on my way to get a spray tan. Look how pale I am. This is horrible. It drives me crazy. Um, trying to think. Got up. I've been getting things done and around and organized at the house. Um, getting things together for the dinner tonight cleaning lady should be there soon I'm surprised she's not there yet Marty and MJ are going to pick up his sister so I'm gonna do my spray tan then I have to go to Wegmans to pick up 
to tie my hair back up to pick up um, a cake and cookies um, wash my hair last night and this is just when I sleep on it this is what it looks like I absolutely did nothing good I haven't even brushed it today uh, it's still a little bit like not wet but like damp is probably like damp is in like again it doesn't have any wetness to it it's just like I don't know weird anyway so I did that last night because I'm gonna curl my hair later today but I knew I had to have it up for the spray tan no jewelry on I've taken everything off all my earrings everything uh, I have no makeup on I don't usually spray tan my face but I am today because picture wise it does <laughs> come out better and it's a little bit easier to match everything um, when I do that so I have no makeup on like none not a lick of it just in my moisturizers and things like that I do still put my moisturizers and things on my face um, because I don't want the self tanner to like seep into any pores that light Ugh, that sun Let's see if this helps nope not at all um, so I will have her spray tan my face today which I don't always do they do use Norvell um, which I have used their daily gradual one and their spray one at home I like both of them um, but I like getting it done because it's more exact and you can get exactly how you want everything so and the girl that does mine is amazing she's the same girl that did my facials and everything yesterday um, so I'm super excited that I'm not gonna be pale anymore I have not spray tanned in a week and a half which is insane for me so excited for that and uh, it's just gonna be getting things together today and you know any last-minute stuff I have no idea what I'm gonna wear tonight finally figured out what jewelry I'm wearing with the dress though so um, yeah I'm wearing more like classic pieces I think because I just actually I'm wearing the same things I wore to my wedding I think pretty much bracelets are different but necklace and earrings are the same so yeah so we're getting there wedding weekend here we go So spray tan is done. I only got one pass on my face and got two passes on the body, but um, it's hard to say. It's hard to tell. It'll develop more as the day goes on too. But it looks really good. It looks very natural, which is what I was going for. That's the key thing is I wanted it to look natural, but tanned. I wanted it to look right for April. I didn't want to look too tanned for April. You know what I mean? So now I'm running over to Wegmans to get the cake and the cookies and heading home. So we're going to lunch at this little place and they have a swing set area outside <laughs> and there's Marty's sister. So it's called um, OC Tap House, I think it's called. Let's see if it's up here anywhere. It's a cute little place. They just, yeah, there we go. Tap House, restaurant, bar and grill and pub. Grab some lunch. All right, so I'm getting ready to go. My hair is just loosely curled, very, very loosely curled. Um, on my face, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I have on my eyes the peanut butter and jelly palette. I have on a pair of Ardell 109 lashes. All the normal stuff. Actually, this is everything is pretty much normal as I always do. Have on one of the new necklaces from Stella and Dot. I already forget the name. Shirt from Ann Taylor Loft. I have on one of the wraps on this wrist. Wrap on this wrist. My David Yerman cocktail ring. A pair of pants from and Taylor left in a pair of shoes. Haven't decided 100% on the shoes. Um, oh, and a little jean jacket. Oh, yeah. Take you back to where everything's gonna go. Ooh. So you come out. So that is where the reception is going to be, I'm guessing. It's kind of dark right now. And this is the outside. Smoking in vape area. It's pretty funny. I don't know where the actual wedding is, though. Haven't figured that much out yet. Cute little place, though. Mold in. Yeah, that's why. 
Oh, sorry, man. Oh look, he wants to hold his hand. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, good job. Good job. All right, food. We've got filet, green beans, mac and cheese, crab cake, salad, and all the accoutrements and sauces for the different things there. Yeah, kids are playing, and people are all over. Uh, really gotten a lot of help from everyone, and uh, it's been great. It's, uh, it's been a long road traveled, and should have turned it, on the lights. It's been perfect. Um, couldn't ask for a better, better, yeah, better, uh, better road to get here. It's been so easy, um, and we're really excited for tomorrow. Really to have, really excited to have everybody there and celebrate with us. So, cheers. Well, good morning all. It is 8.40. Oh, my veggies. And I am on my way to get my hair done and then going to the wedding venue that you guys saw a little bit last night to get my makeup done there. The girl that does my makeup um, started a YouTube channel too. Um, I'll put her link below. Her name's Natalie, I believe. Um, Tanner's a little bit off on a couple of my hands, like my hands, like in between my fingers, but nothing that anyone will notice but me, but you know how that goes. When you're used to doing it yourself, sometimes you nitpick it a little bit more. So, but yeah, so here's crossing our fingers that the weather stays beautiful. It's 52 right now and gorgeous. And um, it's supposed to be like a high of like 65 or 68, which is perfect. Um, so we should be good to go. My dress is right back there along with my robe. Um, and I've got two different bags. I have a bag full of stuff for getting ready. I have a bunch of different shoes with me. Two pairs of flats, two pairs of heels. One's a heel, one's a wedge because we walk on the grass. Then I have a bag of stuff with me because after the wedding's over, we're, right, we're staying at the inn and my mom is bringing MJ back to our house. And, um, sorry, my lips are super dry. And, um, then uh, we're gonna go out in the little area down in Habit of Grace. There's a little downtown there. You guys have seen that before too. I go out to dinner there sometimes. So we're gonna go out down there um, afterwards. So I brought some jeans and a sweater for that. And then tomorrow morning we have a brunch and then we'll head home. So I have clothes for that and you know, some makeup, just a little bit of makeup and you know, my skincare, toothbrush, brush for my hair, all that kind of stuff. So I will show you guys where I can during the day. I don't know how much of it, but I will try and show you where I can. Um, I do them going right now, and I literally take it close to here. Definitely a sweet brush. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Definitely a sweet brush. All right, in and out. It's hard to I'll see what I can show you guys as much as I can while I'm sitting here at the light. Um, I love it. It has like a nice wave and like movement to it. It is perfect. Love it. And in and out. It is 9.30 and I am already on my way there. Um, I guess it would help if I put it back in the navigation because I'm not 100% sure how to get there from here. There it is. This is where we're heading in. Wedding day. Heading out for some pictures <laughs> so for the wedding. We should have probably walked over the bridge so I'm not walking in the grass, but that's all right. We'll get there quicker this way. It's a lighthouse here. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, makeup are done. You saw the hair earlier. This is makeup. Natalie, she has a YouTube page, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys that, so check that out. I'm heading out the back to see what's going on. We're counting down. I think we have one hour left. So let's see sort of here. Oops, sorry about that. I'm in the way. Lots of people all over the place. Um, oh, here they all are. Ooh, that sun is bright. Hi, Bubba. I'm going to show you. I'm oh, you look so cool. What is on your face? Can I wipe off? You got some candy on your face. <laughs> are you ready for the wedding? Yeah. Yeah? Good job, guys. One more. One. Yeah. Hey, girl. Thank Destiny, then Brian had no other choice but to pick me to be his best man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the story why. Be careful of the wet stuff on it. Alright, so heading back down. Wedding's still going on, we're having a good time. You doing your dance moves? Do some more dance moves for me. Uh, yeah, that was a good move. Do, oh. Oh, look at this song. This is Uncle Brian's song. It is 8.45 and I am, I just left the hotel or the inn or whatever you call it, the mansion, I don't even know. Um, and I am on my way to go get MJ, who is not awake yet. <laughs> I've been up since 7 o'clock and MJ is not yet awake. Um, to let Scotch out, I just feel bad, like he's, he was, I mean, in and out of the kennel all day yesterday. and. You know, it's just not, he's normally out all the time. My neighbors took care of him, but still, you know what I mean? And then I just want to relieve my mom. So um, I am heading over to the house. Everybody else is still asleep. Marty's asleep. His sister's asleep. Well, they're not asleep. They're laying in bed relaxing. My brother and his wife are probably either still sleeping. Um, there is brunch until 10 o'clock, but I don't know if anyone is going to be up for that. So, um, I literally got like four compliments on my makeup on the way out the door, which is pretty funny because it was so dark in there, I couldn't hardly tell what I was doing. Like, they had horrible lighting, but I figured I'd tell you guys what I have on so, because it, people say it looks interesting or it looks good. Um, I had a couple of compliments, like people I didn't know, which that's kind of funny. So, I put on the Becca Backlit or Backlight Primer and then Tarte CC Corrector, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have on MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set, Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bronzer, Urban Decay 
Gwen Stefani blush palette, the bottom two bright ones as my blush because I love that. On my lids is, okay, they're Mary Kay shadows. It's hazelnut and I forget what the peach one is called. I'll try and put that below. On, just in my crease, um, Trish McAvoy. This is like one palette that I can just grab and go with some, like, and I know it always works. Uh, Trish McAvoy um, Gilded Gold, I think it's called, on my lids, lids. I went back, I'm using the Blink Eyebrow Mousse, and I swear it's making my brows look better. Um, Marc Jacobs Fine Liner on my waterline, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara on my lashes, on my lips is the Sephora Gel Lip Crayon in Nothing But Nude, and then the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Peach Tart, and then I just put some of my Clarins over it, and that, I mean, when I say that's it, that's a lot of stuff, but um, that's all I have on my face, um, so yeah, I don't, I mean, it looks fine, like, but it was a quick, like, it was a quick get ready, and I feel like I'm exhausted. Uh, my ears are popping and it was so like we were outside so much yesterday that I'm so congested my allergies are killing me my throat so um, we ended up it was so funny Marty and his sister and I ended up at Royal Farms like at the end of the night it was so funny I think I showed you guys actually I think I videotaped a little like two seconds of it but it was pretty funny um, went back to the room we hung out uh, then oh so I went to bed went to sleep I guess it was around like 11 I guess 11 30 and um, then my brother and all of them came back to the hotel and my sister-in-law Laura and came back and it was like her family too and a couple of them stayed in a different hotel that was like six or seven miles away and they were gonna call an uber so I took them to their hotel and came back and then another one of the girls left her car down at the bar she hadn't she had gone to get them and ended up leaving our car down there and walking back with them. I drove her to get her car, then I came home. So I went back to bed around like one o'clock, I think it was. So today is going to be a very, very, very lazy day as far as us. Like, I'm gonna try and go back there to help them get clean. We have to be out of there by 11. And MJ wants, or my brother wants to see MJ before he leaves for Australia. I don't know if I told you, he's going, they're going to Australia for two weeks. And they're super excited. So that's where they're going for two weeks. And uh, they leave today. God help them. I couldn't do it. So uh, the good side is, is it's like a, for a, from here, it's like a 24-hour flight. So they have, haven't hardly slept in two days. So they're probably going to knock out and be like out, out. So I am heading over to get him, and I will just catch up with you guys where I can today. I have no idea what's it's gonna come of it. Well, good morning. Kind of, sorta. 12:45. Well, no, 11.45. God, my brain is not working yet today. I am all kinds of out of it still. I went to bed last night at like, I think it was like 9 o'clock. Woke up this morning at like 8.15 and I'm still out of it and exhausted. So, today got up, cleaned up the house from the whole weekend of party because Friday we had people there, Saturday we had people there, Sunday we had people there, and now my dad is at our house until, which we thought was Thursday, is now Friday. It is what it is. Um, just catching up, uh, canceled my sitter for today because my dad was going to be around and let him hang out. Um, I edited the video for the past Wednesday that just went by, the Dolce & Gabbana Mono Cream, Perfect Mono Cream Nude Shadow, big old name. Um, I edited that this morning oh, after I cleaned up and I just didn't have the energy to go to the gym. So now we are going to swim lessons, which are outside today. It is 70 degrees right now. It's supposed to be a high of 76, I think, today or 78. And we are going to his swim lessons, which they are taking that dome down this week. So the outside pool is heated as well, the big one with the slides and everything. So they're gonna do lessons out there. We'll see how that goes. Um, when we're done, we are going to just pick up some lunch, I think, like Chick-fil-A or something. Um, because my, I just don't have the energy today to figure it out. I don't even know what we're doing about dinner. Like, I'm just like, whatever. So, um, what else? Oh, I'm starting to work on editing the 
vlog from the week from the weekend it was awesome uh, these are the oh the big slides that are outside at the pool remember um, these are the Parkers the Parker sunglasses these are my favorites I love the Miramars if my hair is up oh, deer right there um, and I love the aviators when my hair is down. I got the white aviators. I'm considering getting the gold ones. You guys let me know if you think that's worth it. Um, but these are my favorite ones. I love these and I love just like tossing them up like quick and easy. They're just comfortable. They're cute. I have on, let me think of what's some new things I have on today. I have on the new Kat Von D, the nude palette. It's like four color, like shade and light, but she has four different palettes and it's the like warm neutral one. What else do I have on that's different? The hourglass like tight lining liner. I'm trying to think what else is nude. Oh, a Becca peach colored blush. I forgot the name of it. I think those are the oh Burberry foundation. I forget what type it is, but it's the Burberry foundation that I just got at Sephora. Picked that up. I think that's everything that's new. New. Um, <coughs> sorry. And uh, I just washed my hair this morning and I actually blew it dry. I very rarely blow my hair dry and I blew it dry this morning. Look at you. He's walking underground. Awesome, now can you swim underground for me? Or underwater? Underground, I'm doing good. Alright, bud, come on, remember, we gotta take a quick shower. Dad, do it one more time. Ready, set, go. There you go, Ready, good go job. Back. Okay, walk back and do your rocket arms. Ready, set, go. Swim back for me. Go now back. you're gonna walk back. There you go. Good job. Good job. Well, good afternoon. It is now 1.25, we're leaving switch my sunglasses. I had um, my sunglasses with me. My girlfriend whose little boy does swim lessons with MJ uh, wanted to see all of them and we were playing with them and then I put these on. I do like the white ones. I think I might need the gold ones. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts if you think I should get them or not. Um, MJ, oh, so MJ is swimming on his own now. And I taped it and when I taped it for some reason it turned into slow motion. So I'm gonna have to see when I get it into editing if I can put it back to normal. But like, once he got in the outside pool, which is a little bit sh more shallow, it's only three and a half feet, and he could touch the ground, he was all about swimming on his own. So, super excited about that. That is so awesome. It's like such a huge jump. So I'm super excited about that. I wish, it was so hard to see the camera in the sun that I couldn't tell that I did that. But yeah, so I'm so excited. You did awesome, right dude? So he got a treat for lunch. He got some McDonald's for lunch. So uh, that was his treat for that. Oh, and another thing. So they give, hold on a second, please. You want the emoji? So they get emojis as their toy. You can have it. Uh, how do kids even, when I'm done driving, I can, yes. How do kids even know what emojis are? Like, I mean, I guess they play on phones and stuff like that, but it's so funny. I'm like, how do they even know what that is, that that is a fun toy for them? Ended up being a pretty day to be outside too, water and all. Well, good morning. It is almost eight o'clock. We are on our way to the gym. Um, today I have the trainer. MJ has daycare, and then I drop him off to school. I'm gonna go home. I have to tape a get ready with me, which is why I have absolutely no makeup on right now. Um, in a haul video and then I'm gonna start taping some pieces of my like how I do my setup my lighting and my computer and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna start getting all of that together for you and uh, yeah I think that today we don't really have anything going on in the afternoon yet hectic hectic and probably even putting it nicely after I dropped him off at school I went home to tape uh, video, two videos actually. I wanted to tape a get ready with me and my haul video. So this is my get ready with me pretty much. It's kind of faded down just a little bit for some reason. I think I 
because I've been running around. Anyway, I wanted to use the products that I was putting in my haul video for a get ready with me video, which I think is a good way to do it. So I think I'm going to start doing two get ready, get ready with me a month. So I think I'll do the haul and then the Monday or Friday after the haul, I'll do a get ready with me using the majority of those products, but I'll tape the two videos in the same day. I thought that was a really good idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? That would be, I think, fun. I don't know. Um, but meanwhile, my dad is staying at the house and I said to him, I said, look, I said, I just need quiet for like an hour upstairs. He stays down in the basement, which has, has its own living room, has its own bedroom, has its own bathroom. I said, do you need anything from upstairs? And he came upstairs and there's like noise and like, so it was just a mess. Then I stopped the camera because there was so much noise. And then I realized I forgot to hit start again. And then I took the card, the SD card, and put it in the computer, started downloading. While I was downloading, I took down all the lights, I did all of that, and then I realized afterwards that it had cut off, luckily just the ends. It wasn't like any products, because I had already put all the products away too. Um, it had cut off the end of the haul video, so I had to set the lights back up. I only set up two, so the lighting's probably different on the end of that, but I was just like at that point. So I set it back up, but I didn't want to connect it to my computer, so I did that thinking, oh, it'll be fine, and it'll just be quick. And when I went to download it, luckily I hadn't taken the lights down yet. It was out of focus. Ugh. So then I had to set it back up again, and then I had to put it with the computer and tape it again, and so then I taped it again, and luckily it came out right the last time, but I'm just like, what the heck is going on? I love these Parker sunglasses. I love them. They're my favorite. I absolutely love them. All right. So it is, what time is it? 7.30. MJ is in bed. I'm sitting down to get a little bit of editing done because I have not done much. My makeup looks a mess right now, but it's mostly because I jumped in the shower already and I just didn't wash my face. I washed my face separately. Even if I jump in the shower, I scrubbed off all of that self tanner. That stuff just faded horribly. I scrubbed every bit of it off. And after I wash my face, I'm going to do the loving tan one again. So thank you guys for sticking with me on this great week. That was the wedding week for my brother. And once I get things back to normal, um, we'll be next week. You guys will see next week, which is more normal. So look at this. My hair is beautiful. Ugh. I just need to go to bed. So I will catch you all next week. So real quick, I know the lighting's not the best in here, but I use that Milk La Weekender Lash Stain. And I used that today, and my lashes are still staying. You have to use it a certain way. It's kind of weird. But, um, oh, and what do you guys think of these longer vlog videos? Now that I'm doing them on Saturdays, they seem to be closer to the 40 and 45 minute mark. Thoughts? Love to hear them. Thanks again for sticking with me.